I'm pretty much in the middle of uh, two separate videos right now, so bear with me. It's gonna, it might be a little bit confusing, <laughs> and sorry for being inside of the garage. It's about to rain, and tomorrow it's about to rain, and we're going to do some painting, so I want to make sure that we're inside it when it's nice and safe and dry. So today, today we're going to be going and refinishing all of the trim all along the car, here along the edges. As you guys can see, that's all just faded and just you know chipping. These, if we need them, although we have some new sweet carbon fiber pieces coming in for that um like i said the a pillars we'll do the cowl oh and by the way it's not sponsored but uh if you guys are trying to do this yourself um i've been recommended by a couple friends this stuff um link is in the description so make sure you go ahead and check it out So as you guys can see, I mean, they're just really beat up and uh, just super faded. You guys can see all that, right? It, just, it almost looks white, or just like this gray. So we're going to go ahead and prep these, and what you want to do to prep, at least what I was recommended and what it says online, um, 320 grit sandpaper, clean them all up, obviously make sure they're super, super clean, and from that point on, you should be essentially good to go in and give them a, a nice spray. All right, just got back from Home Depot, got me a couple of the supplies that I need, essentially the only supplies that I need. Now you can also go ahead and use uh, Red Scotch Bright, because Red Scotch Bright is essentially the same grit as 320. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the rear glass. Uh, I started just by taping up these corners. It's a whole lot easier doing it this way. Kind of dig them in the corner and then cut along the edge. That way you have that corner sealed up really, really nice and clean, as you guys can see here, the final. Alright guys, so I just hit, like, as you guys can see that red right there, uh, just some touch-up paint because I actually ripped a gasket, like this really narrow, narrow gasket that sits under the main seal that was super, super brittle and just started peeling away, so I was like, alright, screw it, let's take it out. So I was going to hit it with the black paint, but I was like, no, nah, it won't look right because it's part of the trunk, so masked off a little narrow strip. We'll peel off the tape in a second and hopefully it should come out decent. Alright, so quick little progress update. It's now daytime, obviously. I didn't want to really film too much at night because I know how kind of crappy the lighting is in here anyway. And I don't really like the lighting in here in the daytime, and I don't really like how messy this place is. But like I said, we're going to get a shop here soon enough. If you guys want to help support me, support the channel, uh, go and grab a sticker. That would be super, super appreciated. Uh, it's really windy. I have to actually tape some stuff down. But what I went ahead and did is just, I disassembled the whole door. I took the mirror off. I took this side molding off, which is down there because I just was not happy with how I was getting the tape to line up. Um, and I figured it'd just be a whole lot easier. And then while doing that, look at what I discovered. So we're going to clean that up, paint it, and, uh, you know, keep that from uh, progressing, which is awesome. So we're continuing on. Hopefully I can get this done today. Sprayed, painted, dried, everything good to go. So I'm going to continue on. Just wanted to catch you guys up, let you know what I'm up to. Let's keep it moving. All right, so I think I got the whole car pretty much all maxed off and good to go. Got a bit of the hood. So basically all we're spraying is here, up in here. We're spraying these the, the edges of the window, uh, the rear hatch, obviously the corners of that. Um, that's pretty much it as far as the rear of the car goes. Just double check, right? Yeah, that's all that. Just down here, I masked up the hood. And we got a pile of trim right there so I'm gonna I'm first off I'm gonna go ahead and prep and sand with some red scotch bright the whole stuff here clean it all up uh, spray it see how it turns out and then we'll go ahead and prep everything over here and do the exact same thing so this is gonna completely revamp like the whole look of the car I can already assure you and this coming week we're actually going to get the whole car buffed so it's gonna be a whole new car when we're done here gents Sorry about the like crappy angle work. I don't really have much room to work with in here, so I'm kind of doing what I can. But I'm gonna clean it up, and we'll go to get spraying. All 
All right, so I'm over here just sanding, you know what I mean? Getting all scuffed up. There was a couple little like bumps and divots that I kind of hit with 120 and then we went over back in. These are all fine, this is all nice and smooth. Now this is this is where we're having a bit of an issue and I'm not really sure as to why. You guys can kind of see like that layer, right? Where it hits the black meets the red. It's like this gummy stuff. I don't know why it doesn't sand off. It's good until here. And right, you can kind of see right where that black starts. That's where the issue begins. I'm not too sure what, and now I have this ledge. So now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna, this camera is like, why, how is it so hard to focus? It's right there. Hopefully I can figure out a way to get this without going too crazy at it. I might have to toss like a, a thin layer of body filler on it, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is at this point, so yeah. All right, so I was actually able to save it somehow, that feather light touch. Feathered it out pretty nice. I'm gonna go ahead and give it that uh, that you know final over with the Scotch Bright. Hopefully it turns out decent. We got J Rad over there. <laughs> his brakes are feeling real squishy, so we're gonna check his RSX out real quick. But yeah, this is uh, I'm just happy that we're able to avoid sending this whole thing. That that was gonna be the plan. Definitely rather not. Of course it does. Of course, you, you hope things go nice, like, this is an easy job. It takes time, but it's easy, and of course, there's a little, it's just the way it goes. <laughs> It is almost 10 o'clock at night. Um, everything is painted. Have things gone smoothly? <laughs> nope. Well, <clears throat> so, you guys can see that. The, the place where I sanded it and where I stopped, there's a pretty nice line. This camera has no idea what to focus on. Switching to manual. Manual override. Uh, as you guys can see, there's maybe you can't see, but there's like this hard line. Look at this. Look at this chemical reaction right here. Come on. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, if. To be honest. To be honest, we'll just have to let it dry off. We'll scuff it down and we'll go ahead and polish the whole thing. Um, I mean. Yeah, I'm really not too sure what else to, to do with that. Um, and then up here, we had some weird bubbling. Uh, same thing on the other side, but quite worse. All this, the 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 quarter pan, the quarter windows actually came out fantastic. I know I'm kind of showing you guys at night, and I'm sorry for that. But uh, as far as the pieces outside, I'm not. I mean, they look fine. I'll show you guys during the daytime. Cause right now it's currently pitch black. So see you guys in the morning. I might unmask a lot of it. So. All right, next day was a third day, same video, <laughs> but. Everything looks pretty damn good, um, obviously until we get, like, this is all good. This is like, you know, it's livable with, and you guys can just see, like, like, look at that, man. Oh, dear. I'm ruining my car. <laughs> it's, not, it's not good. Um, damn. Yeah, we're going to have to figure something out for that. Um, probably just sand it, clean it, redo it, you know, but I didn't really feel like doing that right now, so... Still have to go ahead and fix up, oh, wait, wait. fix up that rust spot right there. I hate snake. Oh, that's so weird. I'm saying that, but that's that's. We're, we're, I'm glad I found it. And then we're gonna go ahead and scuff up. Where are they? Here's one. The old mirrors, and then we'll go ahead and give these the old ice cream as well. We might as well just to make everything match. Really kind of bummed out about this whole A pillar type deal, but what are you gonna do? It's the way she goes sometimes. We'll fix it. Just. Just bums me out, it didn't go so great. We also are definitely gonna do it to the old uh, E36 because some trim that's supposed to be black is purple. So, yeah. <clears throat> Another video though. Oh, 
juicy, man. So I just found like some of the same color paint as the car. Literally nothing, nothing left, but there should be enough just so I can get this little piece done. So let's, let's see what we can do here. All right, just to show you guys a quick comparison here of the two mirrors here, one's painted and one is not. I'm sure you guys can tell exactly which one is which. Obviously painted, non-painted. Finish came out super, super nice on this guy. Now time to just go ahead and work on this. So I, I just kind of figured I'd do them separate just so we kind of show you guys the difference. Super, super clean right there. And as you guys can see, not the cleanest. So it's, it's pretty nice. Uh, unfortunately, there are a couple issues. and It's super random, but it's been a, a really long time since I started this thing, so I figured I uh, might as well let it run for a bit today. Oh yeah! It's dead. Wow. Got a little jump pack. So I'm just waiting on my final mirror to dry. I was thinking about going ahead and hitting, hitting my car up with some touch-up paint here along, as you guys can see right there. Bada boom. And then a little bit over here. Um, this stuff is exactly paint match Nissan AH3. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and see what we can do here. I'm not the greatest at touching it up, but it'll definitely look better when it's done than it does now, so. I mean, not great, not horrible, you know? complete and it definitely looks a whole lot better you guys remember how these corners were all like scuffed up and super worn out I mean everything looks really good up until we unfortunately get to this part which obviously I told you guys about so we'll deal with that a little bit later I really don't feel like doing this again right now it kind of was annoying would I recommend doing it it just kind of depends on like if you really guys want to take the time and do this properly um, I do recommend it if your trim is really bad uh, but I mean it's just a lot of time and if, if it goes wrong it's just kind of like man I ruined my car a little bit we'll have to fix that uh, the mirrors came out nice everything else came out good it's just that one spot uh, now these came out really well really really well actually uh, but we're actually gonna be getting some carbon fiber replacements pretty soon so those will probably even be leaving us shortly other than that though we're good um, I wanted to do it happy I did it you know, so, it's all good. So as always, just wanna say thank you all for watching. Seriously, uh, next up, I have all my stuff to do my oil cooler um, install on the 240. Also, if you guys missed the live stream, you guys gotta stay updated on Instagram for all the notifications as far as when the live stream's happening. And um, yeah, so uh, <laughs> next time, we'll try, maybe get one going next Friday. For anyone that came out to the live stream, th thanks for anyone who came out to the live stream, it was a good time. Um, and definitely, I'm actually going to be getting to work on the S13 currently, you know, just continuing work. We're going to do the transmission leak. I'm going to take off the shifter plate, replace the gasket, um, and then we'll see if that does anything. And then, uh, like I said, oil cooler. I have to paint uh, some brakes on a Subaru, and um, yeah, a lot to come, guys. So if you guys haven't yet bought a Staker, make sure you guys go grab one in the link in the description. Free worldwide shipping, so make sure you guys grab them before they're all gone. Um, all support is super, super appreciated. Uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Later.